Hey, you're watching Days of Gaze, and I am your new Wednesday. I'm aware there was a bit of a kerfuffle with the whole Wednesday thing. I want to thank Maddie for the subbing last week. I'm really excited to be part of this channel. The girls are all great. I love watching their videos. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to work with them. Okay, so I'm Becca. I'm almost 19. I've just found out, by the way, my birthday this year is on Pancake Day. How cool is that? I don't know if you have Pancake Day in America. I'm sure you must do. You know, Shrove Tuesday, we eat loads of pancakes for the whole beginning of Lent thing. But that's on my birthday this year. But my housemates will laugh at me because I can't eat pancakes because I can't. Because I'm lactose intolerant. But we're going to make dairy free pancakes and rock out on March the 8th. Oh, yeah. I'm not really that interesting, so I don't have that much to say about myself. But if you want to know anything, you can ask. Okay, so I wanted this week's questions. First question, what is your take on labels? Do you think they hinder the LGB community at all? For the most part, are they a positive thing or a negative thing? Personally, I don't like labels. In my personal opinion, labels make being who you are harder because I struggle with being gay for a long time because I never fit into a category while I was figuring out who I was and I like to make sure I fit into one firmly before I come out, but labels are just one of those things that society needs to be able to pigeonhole people to be able to understand them better, so you know what to expect from a gay person. Obviously, labels are sweeping generalisations, a bit like a stereotype in a way, but you know you know where you stand. If you someone's got a label, you know they're straight, you know they're gay, you know whatever about them, you know they're Christian, they're a Muslim, whatever, you can say okay I understand you better I know you better because you've got this label I don't necessarily think they're a bad thing um, obviously labels like people that use the word faggot you know obviously that's not a label but people use it you know homophobic guys will say or girls will call gay guys faggots as a label and use that as a term but if you use like the proper terms like all the proper terms like gay lesbian bisexual those just nice terms that's fine you know, it's just a way of grouping yourself with people. But derogatory ways, no. We're not in that ideal world. We can just have no labels and everyone just accept you with whatever variations there are in the population. People need to, they need to know. And that's just how people are. So, you know, that's just how the world is. Question number two. Share some of your favourite music and what appeals to you about these artists' songs. Um... I'm a broad range kind of person. What do I like at the moment? I don't know. I like Paramore. But they haven't done any music in ages, so I haven't really listened to them lately. Paramore are my favourite band, most likely. If I had to pick. What else do I like? I like Pink. Pink's good because she's, she's just amazing. She spoke on the Women's Rights campaign about gay rights, and you should watch that because she's really amazing. And yeah, she's an amazing person, and she has like really poignant songs and music videos, and there's something about her that's just empowering so I like pink I listen to like R&B dancey stuff mostly just want to go out with my friends and to get ready because it puts you in that kind of mood um, yeah but I like a variety of stuff from pop like Katy Perry to heavy kind of Linkin Park is as heavy as I'll go yeah and third question love what is your take on love and young love and you've been in love? Um, well, I think, unlike the sceptics of the world, I think you can be in love young. Um, I was always a sceptic, never like, it was all like, no love, no love. Personally, I've been in love twice. Um, once with a guy when I was 16, and once with a girl last year. And, you know, now I don't like to admit to myself that I was, because I don't look back on it fondly, really. But at the time, it was amazing and, you know, Love's a good thing, and I think if you love someone, good on you. If you trust people enough to fall in love, and you found that person that makes you feel that way, I don't think age is the important thing. You can fall in love young, you know, maybe not 12, but, you know, if you're a reasonable, you know, if you're a teenager, you can fall in love. I'm not an overly lovey-dovey, express-how-you-feel kind of person, but my best friend, I talk to her all the time, and I tell her I love her, like, all the time, literally. I could just be sitting at the dinner table or something and 
I'll get a text from her saying I miss you or I love you or something because we're just like that. We're just like the closest people ever. And all my housemates can't believe how ridiculously close we are. It's insane, but it's amazing. I'm getting deja vu. And it's still going. It's creeping me out. Ugh. It's still going. Oh yeah, and you guys, you should um, come follow me on Tumblr or come say hi on Tumblr or something. You've got it. Because, uh, yeah, you just should. I'd like to get to know some of you. I like talking to new people. Yeah, so when I last looked, we're up to 96 subscribers. And that's really exciting because I'm quite intrigued to see what we do for 100 subscribers. Because uh, Kylie said that we're going to do something when we get over 100 subscribers. So mostly like most likely something stupid. So... You guys, if you haven't subbed yet, you should sub because you get to see us do something stupid, you know. What's more fun than that? Might even take requests, you never know. Because I don't know what's going on. Could be interesting. Yeah, so I think it's going to be a great channel. Um, I thank everyone for letting me on the channel. and Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing you next week. So, keep it cool guys and have a great week.